Hi everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a link for photos on your iPhone. Sharing photos through a link is really convenient, but to do this, you'll need to have your photos uploaded to a cloud service, like iCloud. Let's dive into the steps and options. First off, for any photo to be shared through a link, it needs to be stored in the cloud. If you haven't enabled iCloud Photos yet, your pictures might only be saved locally on your phone. To check this, head to your iPhone settings, tap your name at the top, and go to the iCloud section. From there, you can enable iCloud Photos to sync all your pictures to the cloud. Once your photos are synced, it's really easy to share them. Just go to your Photos app, find the image you want to share, tap the Share icon, and select the option to Copy iCloud Link. This will create a link that you can paste anywhere, giving anyone with the link access to that specific photo. It's quick and easy if you've got iCloud enabled. But if you're like me and don't want to sync your entire photo library to iCloud, you can still share specific photos. Here's how. Open Safari and go to iCloud.com. You can log in with your Apple ID, and the good news is, if you're using Face ID, it's a quick process. Once you're logged in, head to the Photos section, where you'll find all the photos and videos that have already been uploaded to iCloud. From there, you can select any photo and share it via an iCloud link. If you've stopped syncing your photos at some point, you'll still have the ones you previously uploaded in iCloud. This allows you to share them even if they're no longer synced with your iPhone. You can also choose to upload additional photos to iCloud through the website and then share them through a link. So it really gives you flexibility, depending on your preferences. Now beyond iCloud, another option is to use Google Drive. You can upload your photos there and share them via a link. Some people prefer Google Drive because it gives you more control over who can access your photos. You can set permissions for people to either view or edit the content you share, which can be very useful if you need more detailed control. And that's it for today. I hope this helps you share your photos more easily. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and give it a like. It really supports the channel. Thanks for watching and see you later.